all know about the great decision taken by the government of India on the educational policies. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what is a new educational policy and what is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 and also about the college system. Welcome back to another video. Let's roll the intro. The current educational system was found in 1984. It consisted of 10 plus 2. The 10 means the first 10 years, which is the grade 1 to grade 10, and plus 2 means the 11 and 12. After a student completes his 10 standard, he is given a choice to select one stream out of three, which is science, commerce, and humanities. So the biggest problem when categorizing a student was a student was not able to select his favorite subjects. For example, if a kid is interested in chemistry as well as he's interested in political science. So he should choose either one of them. He cannot take both and study. So the first biggest change is from now onwards, there won't be a science, commerce and arts stream or humanities stream. What is it? For example, if a child likes physics and he also likes history, so according to previous rules or previous educational policies, it was a student should choose any one of the stream. But according to the new educational policy, it is not required. He can choose whichever subjects from whichever streams he would like to study. Any subjects, for example, chemistry and political science, chemistry and home science, etc. Any of the new subjects. This is much better than the previous rule because in fact, if a student doesn't like to study certain subjects. For example, in my case, I loved chemistry and I loved accounts. Unfortunately, I was made to take commerce because I didn't like the rest of the science subject. But according to the new rule, that's not required. I'm extremely jealous of it because when I was in my school days, I didn't get a choice like this. The second biggest change is there won't be a 10 plus 2. And now onwards, it will be a 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. So what is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4? Let's look deep into it. 5, the first 5. What is 5? 5 means the foundation level. A student from its kindergarten to grade second. So in this time, a student is made to do more of an activity-based cl activity classes play times and basically whatever a kindergarten school has been doing since now this will be made to be done they will be reduce the books and subjects and they'll be more focusing on the extracurricular activity and the second stage which is the next three it is for classes from three to five so what they're going to do in this this is the preparatory stage so in this stage basically a kids from classes eight to eleven is made to do all the kind of activities, for example, uh, extracurricular activities, and uh, he will be given activity-based classes, value-based education, etc. So this is going to help both physically and mentally as well. So it help, which will help him in his future. And in this stage, the students are given the basis of almost all subjects which are required, the main core subjects, for example, Hindi, geography, Sanskrit etc and the best part is that he can and the best part is that he is not required to study in english for example he is not good at english if his mother tongue is hindi he can learn in that and this is going to come in government schools and let's wait and watch how the private schools are going to cop up with this to the third category which is the next three this is for kids from classes six to eight so basically in this class the students are made to do activity based classes and they are made to learn extra character activities, extra subjects, for example, coding, singing, dancing, whichever, cooking. And if they are good at it and if they want to do uh, more knowledge on that from the better people, like the experts, so they can do internship with them, which will help them get an internship certificate and which will help them later in getting better jobs, etc. and be a best person or to get more and deeper knowledge in this subject this is going to be similar to the summer classes which we make our kids go for example what they teach their like martial arts swimming etc it is going to be the same thing but the only difference is this is going to be given from the school and projects work will be also given 
and the project's work will be more of a practical thing rather than the bundles and bundles of papers which we used to write and which is of no use. No, it won't be. Gonna, it is not going to be like that. It is going to be a practical based project works. So it will help the kids in interacting with people, making them a better person, learning how to interact with people, uh, learning good manners, etc. And many good things. This is the best decision for kids from classes 6 to 8 because they are going to get a deeper knowledge on a particular subject instead of all those subjects which are of no use and which we study till class 10. Now the one which we were all waiting for, the, the one which I mentioned at the beginning, as the first one, there won't be another science commas and all. The next four, let's see what it is. For students from classes 9th to 12th, before they were being allotted or departmentalized to three streams, science, commerce and humanities. So they were made to take one of the any stream. Now onwards, as I said at the beginning, student can choose his or her subject according to his wish from different streams. Now onwards, the exams will be every six months or two times a year. For example, this is a really good decision because when I used to be in my schools, what we used to do is like we had main exams. So the entire year we used to crack jokes, not take it seriously and all and thinking and saying that we will crack it at the main exam so now onwards this won't be there students has to be serious all the time but there will be things which like extracurricular activities and activity based classes everything will be there at the same time they will also be made to be a little bit serious in life and not take it a little bit lightly another thing which the government has said that by the year 2030 every state will have a reputed university, colleges, schools, etc. So that the students won't have to go far and study. Now, when a child completes his class 12th and comes out thinking what he will take, now comes the college time. So in college, the, according to the new rule, according to the new rules, there won't be any dropouts. There won't be any dropouts? What am I saying? Isn't it? So listen to it carefully. Until this year or until this rule is being implemented, it used to be like if a student goes to a college where he is not being interested and his parents are saying him to do you know, those subjects. For example, engineering. Engineering is that kind of subject where parents are like, go become an engineer. So he goes there. What happens after two years? He drops out and come. He wastes literally all money and he's called a dropout. Now onwards, that thing won't be there so what is going to happen when a kid joins his college and completes his first year and decides to stop the course he is given a certificate of doing the basics or the completing the first year and when he completes the second year and plans to drop out in second year he is given a diploma certificate when he completes his third year and drops out he is given a degree and or uh, he is given an advanced diploma certificate and when he completes his four year he is given a degree with research another change in the educational system is that there won't be a cbsc there won't be a igce because in india there are lots and lots of both state board cbsc igcse and many things they're trying to bring their education into the global level so what this means that in European countries or in Western part of the world, there is one syllabus. For example, if you're in America, you're doing an American syllabus. Same like that. India is also going to do that instead of all those CBSE, IGCSE, this, that, and all. It won't be there. They're trying to make it together as one entire nation and one entire board. Since they have so much boards, the kids are getting confused because if a kid comes from CBSE school, his passing out or his cutoff percentage is different. If he's coming from IGCSE, this is different. The government-based syllabus, it's different. So they are trying to standardize the educational boards and make it as one with same cutoff percent, etc. So that everyone gets an equal chance in doing or applying for his educational or the next education, what he wants to do in his college. When it is going to be implemented in our country. See, the thing is, it can be either like uh, our demonetization of our currency which took place overnight it 
can be very fast in months everything will change it can be either like that or it can be a slow process and one thing we need to understand is that there are three categories one is decision making one is implementation and another thing is social acceptance so now they have decided that this educational policy is going to come decision is done implementation and social acceptance in implementation we don't know how long it is going to take but when it happens it is going to be a really good decision and then comes the third thing social acceptance see for say so for every good deed you do there will be a bad or a negative side of that same like that there will be a side or there will be a pe group of people who will oppose it who will be resisting it of course for everything there there should be resistance and there will always be resistance so we need to understand that india is a huge country with very huge system so it is going to be a very hectic and it's going to be a very huge task for every people to socially accept it and i don't think so it is going to be an overnight change few people are going to be affected directly one is going to be students who are preparing for the exams this year or before the implementation of the program i mean the educational policy and the second person is the teachers now the teachers also have to update their knowledge update their skills etc i would like to end this video by saying a quote said by swami vivekananda i will read it out he says that a good economy and a good nation is the one who allows the people to choose their occasion and the way of earning saying this i would like to end today's video if you like the video don't forget to drop us a like down below share this video with your friends and comment down what is your opinion on this educational policy with another video another day until then bye